Welcome to English Through History. If you like the content, please subscribe or leave us a review. It helps us to make more content and it shows us we're moving in the right direction. Uh, we hope you enjoy today's episode. New York, known as the Empire State, boasts a rich and intricate history that spans centuries. From its earliest days as a Dutch trading post to becoming a global hub of finance, culture, and immigration, the story of New York is a tapestry of growth, resilience, diversity, and transformation. In today's episode, we'll look at the beginnings of the city and the evolution into one of the most vibrant and well-known cities in the Western world. The roots of New York's history can be traced back to the early 17th century when the Dutch West India Company established a trading post called New Amsterdam in 1624. Situated on the southern tip of Manhattan Island, New Amsterdam served as a vital outpost for the Dutch to engage in the lucrative fur trade with Native Americans and other European powers. However, Dutch rule in New Amsterdam was short-lived. In 1664, the English, under the command of the Duke of York, seized the colony and renamed it New York. The English period marked a turning point for the city as it transitioned from a small trading post to a burgeoning colonial settlement. Under English rule, New York experienced significant growth and attracted immigrants from various European nations. The city's population boomed with English, Dutch, French and German settlers contributing to its diverse cultural fabric. The 18th century witnessed New York's pivotal role in the American Revolution. The city became a center of political activity, hosting events such as the Stamp Act, which prompted subsequent anti-British protests and later serving as the meeting place for the drafting and the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Though New York briefly served as the capital of the United States in 1785, the seat of government was subsequently moved to other cities, including Philadelphia and ultimately Washington, D.C. Nevertheless, New York continued to thrive as a major commercial and financial center, setting the stage for its future prominence. The 19th century proved to be a transformative period for, the New, for New York. The completion of the Erie Canal in 1825 revolutionized transportation and trade, connecting the city to the Great Lakes region and facilitating the movement of goods and people. New York quickly emerged as the principal port of entry for immigrants seeking a better life in America. The city experienced a massive influx of Irish and German immigrants during this time, driven by famine and political upheaval in their home countries. The Irish in particular faced discrimination and difficult living conditions, with many settling in the overcrowded and impoverished neighborhoods of Five Points on the Lower East Side. However, these immigrant communities contributed immensely to the development and character of the city, shaping its cultural, political and labor movements. As the 19th century progressed, New York's growth continued and abated. The city underwent rapid urbanization and modernization with iconic structures and landmarks rising to the skyline. The construction of the Brooklyn Bridge completed in 1883 symbolized the city's engineering prowess and connected Manhattan to the expanding boroughs of Brooklyn. In the latter half of the 19th century, New York's influence extended beyond its borders. The city became a center of art, literature, and intellectual discourse with the rise of the Hudson River School of Landscape Painting and the establishment of prominent literary figures such as Washington Irving, Edgar Allan Poe, and Walt Whitman. The birth of modern finance also took place in New York with the establishment of the New York Stock Exchange in 1792 and the formation of major banking institutes like JP Morgan and Chase. The turn of the 20th century solidified New York's status as a global metropolis. The city became the heart of America's financial system with Wall Street emerging as the world's preeminent financial district. 
The growth of industries such as manufacturing, shipping and finance attracted even more immigrants to the city, resulting in a remarkable influx of people from diverse backgrounds. Between 1892 and 1954, over 12 million immigrants passed through Ellis Island, the gateway to America, seeking refuge and opportunity. The immigrant experience in New York was characterized by a fusion of cultures as newcomers sought to preserve their traditions while assimilating into American society. Neighborhoods such as Little Italy, Chinatown, Harlem, and the Jewish Lower East Side became vibrant centers of cultural expression and community. The 20th century brought both triumphs and challenges to New York. The Roaring Twenties saw the rise of Harlem Renaissance, a cultural movement that celebrated African-American art, music, and literature. Figures like Langston Hughes, Zora Neale Hurston, and Duke Ellington left an indelible mark on American culture and contributed to New York's reputation as the cultural capital. However, the city also experienced profound hardships. The Great Depression of the 1930s plunged New York into economic despair, leaving many unemployed and impoverished. The city, like the rest of the country, rallied during World War II, supporting the war effort and serving as a hub for manufacturing and logistics. In the post-war era, New York faced new challenges and opportunities. The 1950s and 1960s witness significant urban renewal initiatives, such as the construction of large public housing projects and the development of commercial centers like the Seagram Building. The city also became a center of social and political movements. With protests and demonstrations for civil rights, women's rights, and an end to the Vietnam War taking place in its streets. However, New York also confronted systematic issues, including racial tensions, crime, and economic inequality. The city faced a period of decline in the 1970s and 1980s, marked by financial crisis, urban decay, and high crime rates. The iconic image of a graffiti-covered subway car became a symbol of the city's struggles. However, New York's resilience shone through. In the 1990s, under the leadership of Mayor Rudy Giuliani, the city underwent a remarkable transformation, with crime rates dropping significantly and investments in infrastructure and tourism revitalizing neighborhoods and boosting the economy. The city's spirit and determination were further tested on September the 11th, 2001, when the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center shook the nation. The devastating event claimed thousands of lives, but also demonstrated the strength and the resilience of New Yorkers in the face of adversity. In the 21st century, New York remains a global center of finance, culture, and innovation. The city skyline continues to evolve with architectural marvels like the One World Trade Center rising from the ashes of Ground Zero. New York's creative industries thrive with Broadway theaters, museums, and art galleries attracting visitors from around the world. New York's neighborhoods continue to reflect its diverse population, from the bustling streets of Chinatown to the upscale boutiques of Soho and the artistic enclaves of Brooklyn. The city is a melting pot of cultures, languages, and cuisines with an array of culinary designs representing the global mosaic of its inhabitants. As with any city, New York faces ongoing challenges, including income inequality, housing affordability, and climate change. However, unlike many other cities, the spirit of innovation and the determination of its residents propel the city forward, finding solutions and pushing boundaries. <laughs>